Hey everybody, been needing to get out here and just share a few things real quick, okay? Um, yes, I'm still alive, but definitely could use some prayer. Lots of warfare going on. Of course, many of us are experiencing it. Experiencing it, I'm sure. All right, so crazy weather, right? So let's start there. The last video I did was with the purple skies. <laughs> Oh, well, that was like really crazy because I had looked at my app and it looked like that was the end of the storm. So I'm noticing there's no flashes of lightning and the sky's purple. All right. No, normally orange and green before a tornado. Um, and I shared the effects of that. Well, shortly after that, I went and took a shower and then felt like just, you know, you're just feeling stuff coming in. <laughs> Looking at my app again, I'm seeing that. Oh, we got some more. Okay. Well, getting the girls out just in time. My goodness, brothers and sisters, this went on for nine hours straight. I, I really didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't pick up the phone and, and share this moment with you. But I was really busy praying with the dogs and with everything. It was the worst that I've ever heard in Texas ever. Um, laying hands on Maddie, she was like, I thought she was going to have a dog attack on me. She was shaking so much. Molly was curled up beside me, and, and Dora, being the big sister, was barking at the hail and the lightning. <laughs> so it was, you know, a lot of praying. Um, then at about, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, I decided, you know, it had calmed down a little bit. I was sitting there just, like, relaxing and taking a deep breath from this and seeing that again. My app's blown up. I can tell that they are blowing this up. And I'm like, oh my goodness, should I warn Louisiana and Missouri that they're fixing to get hit? <laughs> because this is like, I'm watching this blow up. All right? They can't hide it. Um, and I said to the Lord out loud, I said, Lord, and this is no joke. I said, Jesus, are you coming? And as soon as I said that, there was the loudest closest <laughs> lightning thunderbolt right to my head here by the window uh wow it scared the heebie-jeebies out of everybody i even had the cat up here and i'm thinking okay now lord are you saying now because i'm feeling like electricity and all kinds of stuff going through my body and my body's feeling weird but again i'm focusing on keeping everything together here and keeping it cool and listening you know, to that still small voice, like I'm up here on the second floor. I know the tornado sirens went off, but hey, I didn't notice anything after that other than I didn't get much sleep and that next day was hellacious, <laughs> all right? On my physical as I am a barometric pressure person and I see we got some storms coming in now. All right, so saying that, then I see that, um, you know, as everything is, as far as I'm concerned right now, my new expression is imminently imminent as there's really nothing. I don't know. I mean, God is so amazing. Every time something happens, I go, oh, Lord, you're so cool. Um, really, he's my best friend. He's my everything, my daddy. Of course, he knows He knows us, right? Um, and I see that, you know, remember that we retaliated last week when we didn't need to retaliate from anything. It was Israel that had gotten attacked by Syria and Iran, and they had already retaliated. As you remember, they had the 44th that wasn't for them, 45th that was, and they know that this one isn't either. So they're taking care of their own business, but it's also written and prophesied that Israel will be surrounded by her enemies. And that's happening now. Everything that needs to happen biblically is, is written, and it is happening. Right? We just don't hear it all because there's so many distractions going on. The earth is quaking like crazy. And, I mean, even the eight fours and the, the big ones um, that have put, like, Hawaii under tsunami watch. Um, and goodness, day 73 on the volcanic eruptions over there still. There's a lot going on brothers and sisters, so as far as we know, it's imminently imminent, all right? Also, please, I pray that you all know that this old lady who lives in Texas, if there was any thought or any sign whatsoever that I picked up on, 
that would say that the National Guard was coming to my door to force me to take anything, then I would be the first one out here to tell you that, okay? But it's not true. They took one line out of the whole speech, and what he said was he was planning on getting it to the seniors who want it and can't get out, and that would be using the National Guard or whatever that he had to do to ensure the fact that those who want to be treated will be, okay? So I emphasize that. They want to. They're the sheep wolf. They want to. They want this really bad. And people are lining up for it. And then under 65, you have to sign up. So then we see, well, I was doing my happy dance. You know that. Um, yesterday, they took off the mandate. All right. So, yes, some stores and things will be continuing with this mandate. And I don't visit those stores anyways. But, hey. I haven't worn one yet. I'm not going to. It's definitely not something I will allow to happen. You just don't go and visit those places, that's all. Unless you're forced to, I understand. Okay, I'm not being uncompassionate here or judgmental towards anybody, so please don't take it that way. But, hey, six other states are going to be following, so this is huge, and this is good for America as well as everything's lining up and everything says it's imminently imminent and knowing that the weather chaos is like absolutely crazy there's no wonder that everybody's going to be getting sick if you're not sick already right cleanse um we got to remember that if you know you know who is starting a war over there that's always been in the past to stimulate the economy right but then a recession happens and during that time, then, you know, they were low on oats and things like this and those kind of things that you need to make sure that you have enough of. Now, I know that there's a two-limit water in Texas right now, but that's also because of our uh, warehouses. There was no trucking available. The roads were not open even to drive on. So, you know, they could not replenish. Now we're still waiting for more replenishing. It's crazy. You know, I've always used that uh, fact that, you tell everybody there's a storm coming, and, and they run out and get prepared. You tell them Jesus is coming, and they don't do anything. Well, they didn't with the storm either, but I can totally understand because, you know what? I didn't believe them either, really, that they said that we were going to get 11 inches of snow, possibly. But obviously, it was in the plan, all right? So a lot of other stuff has come out about this since, and I am here, and I see what's going on. And I know many of you are also here, so you can confirm as well. But this is imminently imminent with everything lining up. The Pope is in Iraq. Um, my goodness, I could go on and on about the things that are happening. Just there's totally been a shift in the spirit, several shifts. I noticed one last week, and I definitely have noticed one today. And I'm doing everything I can to just keep going and you know get your house in order and all that means is you know just be ready declutter everything that has been um bogging you down and oppressing you and and say you know what i'm just not going to think this way anymore or do this anymore or, and i'm gonna do this now instead of and you know just positive affirmation things and speak life you know speak the things that jesus says that you are not the things that the world or the enemy says you are because we fight not against flesh and blood but the principalities and powers of this world so it's not us that they're fighting against it's jesus in us it definitely doesn't go well with their you know makeup all right so remember that and we were all there once too and we fought things and we rebelled and we are all sinners saved by grace in need of a savior his name is jesus and the word of god says that all who call upon the name of the lord shall be saved <laughs> see they can't take that word away no matter what um it's in us john first john one right jesus is the word so i'm just going to leave you with this beautiful what i remembered a son <laughs> I haven't seen one in a while. I wanted to get this out there and say, I know that there's so much more 
and so many rapture dreams and God is pouring out his spirit upon his children. Oh my goodness, there's just been so much going on. It would take hours to get through what I need to tell you all. Now let's look forward to praise the Lord, prepare the way for another Saturday Night Live. I pray in Jesus' name as I say that this is Debbie from Texas saying peace out. Maranatha, <laughs> let's keep looking up because the king is coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. <laughs> Peace out.